Right, so the next step, um, now these areas have dried, we can address the breast of the bird and think about mixing those colours that we need. So looking at the reference image, we can see that um, he has a nice bright yellow part of the breast here underneath the black. It changes into a green and then it changes again into a bluey grey. So let's get those colours mixed. Um, I just take a little bit of water, I'm going to do the green at the top here and then the yellow underneath. Um, I already have some blue there. I'm going to use the Gamboge yellow, so that's in your palette. That's the only real yellow that you have in your palette. Um, sometimes you'll get a, a lemon yellow as well. This one's a nice warm yellow. So I've just got the yellow at the top there. Now I'm going to take some yellow for this next section here. And into that, just clean the brush off and go into the Prussian blue and mix up a green. Okay, so that's a little bit too kind of vibrant. So I'm going to, um, let's add a touch of the yellow ochre that's in your palette. And we should get a more natural kind of tone or green. Um, yeah, let's go a bit, a bit more for the yellow ochre. It's always nice to mix your colours. So I know we have two greens in this palette. So I have a leaf green, which is the pale green. And then I also have a hooker's green as well, which you probably have in your palettes. Um, but really, we want a sort of a natural kind of mossy green. So we've used the gamboge yellow, the Prussian blue, and also some of the yellow ochre as well, just to warm it up a little bit. So if we have a look at those colours, so that's the green we've got there, which is absolutely fine. And if I wash my brush again, take off the excess, dip it into the yellow that I have, and we have that pale yellow as well, um, which is absolutely fine. So let's go ahead with those. So because this is really quite a large area to paint and we want to apply three separate colours, we do need to wet the paper first. So we all know what to do now. Take the larger brush that's clean into clean water and just dab off the excess. And then starting at the top, just below that grey there, I'm going to drag the water down, all the way down to the tail top of the tail so let's just do that fairly quickly get that water on the surface just to make a damp um, surface for the water the paint to flow into that's going to help us also to um, blend the colors on the surface of the paper a little bit more easily. Um, what we don't want are hard lines between one colour and the next so to soften that transition it's always good to work on damp paper. So once you're happy that you've covered all that area just tilt, tilt it up or just look from an angle and you'll be able to see if you've missed anywhere. And then reasonably quickly now, you want to start at the top, so we're taking the yellow straight away, and as you can see, just dotting it down. So a hard edge at the top here where it meets the black. And we want to bring that yellow down the front of the bird. Okay. And bring it down a bit lower than we want it because what we'll do now is look at bringing in some of that green so just dabbing off that yellow coming into the green mix and 
dotting that into the yellow that's there, bringing it up the breast a little bit and allowing that to mix on the surface and then drag that green down the body of the bird carefully at the edges but drag that right down to the back here and then again come down a little bit further than you want with the green and then um, just take off that green a little bit pick up the blue and start coming up up to that green with your blue and allowing it to blend on the surface there so I'm going to bring that blue up a little bit I'm dabbing off my excess paint and then going back into the blue paint and this tail has dried. I'm not too worried because I'll just use the wet paint on the dry paper. I'm just going to dab off a little bit and I'm just going to drag that down. It's a bit paler under here. So I'm dragging that down that tail in one go so that I don't get any hard lines down there now that that's dry. So don't panic if it does dry, just keep going um, and you'll be fine. Just looking at this tail here, so the line is just under here. Make sure you come to the edge. Okay. That's nice. I'm just going to go into my green and just dab on some more green here on the chest and blend it a little bit with my brush and make sure I've come to the, the edges make sure the paint's nice and smoothed out and you can see we've got a soft transition between, between those three colours now so it gradually goes from the yellow at the top, comes down to the green and then into the blue at the back. Okay, I'm just going to come in with a slightly drier brush, take off some of this excess paint because he is quite pale and over here. So I'm just going to drag off a little bit of that paint. Just lifting it away and dabbing it on the paper towel, and that just lightens it a little bit. Okay, so we're going to let that dry now, the breast, and I've moved my picture across for you so that we can work a little bit further on the tail feathers. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue on the palette here. Oh, you can't quite see that. So I'm just picking up some ultramarine blue paint on my palette using my really small, well, using my smaller brush. And I've actually added the lines, the veins going through the middle of these feathers there and there. I've, um, I couldn't quite see the lines very clearly, so I took my pencil and drew those back in on top as well as the edge to this feather here and I'm going to use the ultramarine blue now just to um, paint on those lines so that's one of the veins that we can see and this one just really using the furry tip of the bristles so that I can get a nice fine line just little strokes and then um, 
with this it's sort of darker really a lot darker under the tail here under the end of, of his wing um, so I'm working on the dry paper I'm dragging the paint down and we've got kind of some little strokes there and then I'm going to just drag that ultramarine blue down the edge of the feather and it's darker here as well so just pop some ultramarine blue at the end just to deepen that there And just going to pull in a few little lines coming down just to suggest the feather, the edge of the feather there. Really, really fine lines. And then using that same ultramarine blue just on the end of my brush, I'm going to do some similar lines on the top feather just to darken that up and kind of highlight the overlap there I'm going to look at this part of the wing so I brought the dark lines down so far um, I'm going to carry on underneath there now. So we have some in grey, so I'm just going to take off the excess off my brush and uh, let's have a look. This gets quite complicated. I'm going to start at the bottom of the wing. I want to leave a small gap between where I'm painting and the feathers above that I've already painted. So there's, there's going to be a small white gap there, line, as I drag this grey paint up the next section, the next feather on the wing there. Drag that all the way up. And you'll notice that from here on down there's blue colours across these feathers so we'll first apply the grey and then pop some blue in so I'm just going to take that grey off my brush take off all that water and pick up some of this blue and just Dab it into that grey and allow it just to blend in on the surface and just to tidy up those edges as well, make those lines a bit straighter. It's very tricky to work in such fine detail especially as a beginner. Okay, and because we're leaving gaps, we can move on to the, the not line directly underneath it. So back into the grey paint. And <clears throat> I'm going to leave a little gap. And paint that grey down. Put a bit more on my brush. and then into that blue and dot it on and exactly the same going underneath 
a little bit of grey. Leaving that line, remember, because that sort of shows you there's more than one feather there. And dragging the paint all the way down that shape. And then dotting in smoothly. 